Thank you everyone for coming out here today uh, under this course heat. And I would like to start by saying we are gathering here in this plaza named after Mahatma Gandhi, who is the father of the nation for India. Yes. And it has a lot yes. of significance to that. Yes. And I stand here today to speak the truth and let the world know the atrocities committed to our people, the Kuki, Zhou, Mar, Mizo people in Manipur. And I stand in solidarity with all the victims of the ethnic cleansing systematically perpetrated by certain maintain radical groups in Manipur. The incompetency of the government and their mercenaries proves that the situation in Manipur is more than a conflict between two communities, but it is a genocide in progress. It has been 88 days now, and there is no stopping to it. The Maiti radical groups like the Rambai Tango, the Maiti Lipun, they have a free reign to do as they please. They have looted arms and ammunition from several armories in Imphal. And how is that even possible? Yes. 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 And any government, anarchy, and all those looted, all those looted arms and ammunition are used to attack our people and our villages. Very sad. And my thoughts today, and my prayers are with all the victims of this crime against humanity, and especially for the two women who were stripped naked, paraded in public, yes. and then molested and gang raped. Shame! 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 And afterwards, left to die on the 4th of May. I saw the video, and it is brutal yes. and horrible. I can barely watch till the end. I am still traumatized by this viral video. So I ask this question to myself, what if this happened to my wife or one of my daughters? Yes. 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 Would I still remain silent? No. 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 no! no! Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said this, and I quote, the ultimate tragedy is not the oppression and cruelty by dead people, but the silence over them by good people. That's yes. Yes. So how long should I remain, remain silent? How long should we remain silent? No more! No more! No more! Gandhiji also said this, silence becomes cowardice, especially when occasion demands speaking of the whole truth and acting accordingly. And I borrow this word to open our eyes, our minds, our hearts, and our thoughts. So why are we here today? We are here today to demand justice. Justice! Justice! justice. 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 Not just only for the Guki, Zomi people in Manipur, but for all the minority people in India. Yes. 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 Oppressed, suppressed, and persecuted for so long. And this demand I am making, we are making is legitimate. It is enshrined in the preamble of the constitution. Yes. And I could, I'm not gonna read this all, all over again. Justice that is enshrined to the preamble of the constitution. Social justice, economical justice, political justice. That is what we demand. So what do we demand? Justice! What do we demand? Justice! Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much.